Hi there. Okay, as you all know, I am now selling um, bags of clay. Uh, I'm getting a delivery on Wednesday, I hope. Fingers crossed, because the guys that make the clay, um, a lot of their staff are off. So hopefully that will turn up Wednesday. I've got a long list of people who would like to buy clay, which is great. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so we'll sort that out on Wednesday. Just contact me if you need some, I'll add, to, add, uh, add you to my list. Um, so today I just want to show you um, a little bit about decorating your stuff. So if you've made some nice things, the last video I showed was about making spoons. And um, these are some spoons that I made uh, the other day that have been um, bisque fired. So bisque firing is the first firing, uh, bisque firing or biscuit firing. And it just uh, obviously makes it into a ceramic material. So something really magic happens at 574 degrees, I think, exactly. And that's um, where all the silica sort of particles in the clay kind of melt together and it becomes what we call a ceramic material. So you can no longer ever kind of slake that down with water. You can no longer make it go mushy with water again. Um, so that they, it just makes them go hard, okay? So that's what's happened. This is what they look like out of the kiln. That nice kind of terracotta, flower pot color. We've all seen it. It's um, it's lovely actually. I really, I really like red clays. A lot of people um, go for white clays. I am getting some buff colored clay in as well, by the way. But this is beautiful terracotta red clay. Um, I've got some of these test styles. You can kind of see here. We've got these are my underglazes. The colors are really rich. They're very, very high pigment. They're beautiful. Um, I just want to actually show you how to apply them, okay? So if you do have bought clay from me and you've had your stuff fired and we've done the leaving it in the box and stuff, not quite sure how that's going to work, but we're going to make it work. Um, and you've got your stuff back and you've bought some underglazes and some transparent glaze from me. This is how you apply it. So, so simple. Um, so what am I going to actually do? I don't know. Uh, let's see. A bit of yellow. Mm, let's, let's have a green, a bit of green. So you literally just paint it on. It's as easy as that. Okay. So I'm actually just going to give this an undercoat of green. Why not? So it's just like painting. My brush is a bit small, actually. Um, any any old brush will work, really. Just get a paintbrush, anything. Um, what you will find is that the underglaze covers really well. What I'm trying to do is get it sort of even, as even as I can, by just brushing it out. Um, if you don't kind of get it even, you'll, you'll get it semi-transparent and the brush marks will show up a bit. A soft brush, a really floppy soft brush will really help you to get that nice and even. Um, but this stuff, I make it myself here. And seriously, it is such good quality underglaze. You could buy stuff um, from commercial companies that sell it. There are lots available. But I find that they cut a lot of corners with regard to how much pigment they use in the making. And mine is super deluxe. I like to think of it as super deluxe. Um, I'm just gonna do a few little dots around the bowl. Can you see? I'm just loading my brush up. This is a slightly darker green. And I'm just dabbing it on. There's quite a lot of underglaze on the brush because you want it to go on kind of quite thick. Don't know if you can see that. A bit sunny, a bit funny. Okay, so that's quite cute. Um, what are we going to do with the handle? I think I'm going to just stick to greens, actually. So this one's got a bit of a textured handle. I'm just going to pick out some, some texture with my underglaze. Okay. Just put it on quite thick. Um, so you get the idea. You just paint it on like paint. I'm not actually going to do any more because I think you get the general gist and um, I need to try and keep my videos a bit shorter. <laughs> so literally soft brush, paint it on nice and even and thick um, and it covers so well it'll be absolutely brilliant. 
Um, let me just show you about glazing a minute. So you can't um, put the glaze on until the underglaze has kind of gone like a matte colour, so until it's dried, essentially. But because this clay is actually really porous, um, it won't take very long. I mean, if you've blobbed it on thick like I have around the rim, that's going to take a little while. So I'll just show you on this one how to put the glaze on. I mean, honestly, you don't even really need me to show you because it's it's so, so easy. Um, I'm going to be selling like small, um, small little jam jars of these underglazes and glazes for you to buy separately. I'm going to make them as cheap as possible. I haven't, I haven't worked out the price yet. I know how much it is for bigger amounts, but I need to just... Um, figure that one out <laughs> this is like a daily evolving situation here okay so glaze glaze is basically um the layer of glass actually that we're going to apply over the top of the color so whatever glaze you put on if i just show you with, with the test style um so these areas here are unglazed okay and this area can you see reflecting it has been glazed so you can see as well that the glaze um, really intensifies the colour, okay? So it's a bit like varnishing a painted surface. It just makes the colour go a little bit more intense, a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, okay? So you could think about that and plan a little bit um, when you're decorating. So with the glaze, again, you want to load up your brush and just slap it on. Honestly, as long as you get it kind of even, I mean, that's pretty uneven, so I'm going to wipe a bit off and just flat it out a bit okay so it will make it go completely white all right um, and that's as it should be <laughs> don't worry the whole thing is going to go white um, so you're going to give it two nice thick even coats of this transparent glaze let the first coat dry you'll know when it's dry because it will go to like a chalky color You'll see it just won't look wet anymore and only then can you apply the second layer try and get it nice and even particularly over really dark colors because if you don't get it even sometimes it goes a little bit milky over like a, a navy blue or something like that um so two thick even uh, layers what else do i need to say about glaze and that's it you're done oh very important though do not i need to put these in the kiln um in a way you know with the glaze so that it's not going to stick to the kiln shelf so I'm actually only going to glaze like the top bit here okay and the inside of the bowl I'm not going to glaze any of the underneath or at least if I do I'm going to make sure I've wiped it off the places where it's going to rest okay but I would advise you all to not glaze the bottoms of anything that you do that will make my life so much easier. So please don't glaze your bottoms. Otherwise, I will have to wipe your bottoms. And I don't really want to be wiping your bottoms, okay? <laughs> so yeah, the easiest thing is just wipe your own bottom. <laughs> um, and that's it. That's decorating and glazing. You can layer up the colours. You can work on top of this colour, on top of this colour. That's fine as well. Um, just let it kind of dry in between colours um, and it'll be beautiful. So I'm going to wrap up because my clock says it's 8 minutes 40 seconds, which is good. Um, if you want to buy some clay from me, please let me know. Um, I will get back to you about whether you can pick it up or whether I can deliver that to you. Um, then once you've made your items... You can bring them back to me. I can fire them for you if that's what you would like. And when you come and pick up your fired items, then if you want to decorate them, you can at that point buy some underglazes and a bit of glaze. Then you will need to bring it back to me, or maybe I can pick it up if you're in Holt in the village, and it goes in the kiln for its second firing or its uh, glaze firing where that white stuff, the glaze, the transparent glaze that you would have just applied on top of your colour, so it's its second firing, and what that means is it's just going to melt that glaze into a very thin layer of glass that soaks into the top layer of clay a little bit as well, so it kind of helps strengthen it as well. Um, and that's how it works. And then you can come and collect your stuff, or maybe I can deliver... And that's it, you're done. You've made your first bit of ceramics, your first bit of pottery, okay? 
that's how it's going to work. Keep watching the vids. I'm going to try and do one every couple of days. I realise I can't do one every day. That's just ridiculous. I don't know what I was thinking. But um, so we're going to do lots more of these to keep you busy. And yeah, happy potting. Bye for now.